Hi everybody! I'm doing a zodiac energy reading for Virgos for the month of March 2020. I'm gonna go ahead and relax here and tune into the energy and we'll see what the message is for all of you for March. Okay. Virgo. What's it gonna look like for Virgo for March? Well, hmm, it's kind of an odd scene. Let's just start with little legs with purple pantyhose, and they have kind of like uh, Tinkerbell type shoes with the little ball at the end. And these feet are walking on the heels with the toes up into the air and uh, a bit leaned back. Like someone is, is they're, they're trying to, um, push something back with their own body weight but whatever that thing is is pushing them forward and they're just sliding forward so this is like the size of a little kid like eight or nine years old and virgo is not is not choosing to just stop and stand up is continuing to kind of lean back and then just continue to be pushed forward by some own energy, some other, not its own energy, but some other energy. I'm gonna have to stand here and watch this for a while because nothing is changing. I just keep seeing this. I'm trying to get through to Virgo. I'm trying to tell Virgo so this is what I see. What do you think about this, Virgo? It's a really adorable kid. I'm able to see the face now. Um, it, it's a reflection of both male and female. It looks kind of like a girl that has short hair. Um, and it emulates also a boy. And I see Virgo is uh, now kind of moving the body and, and trying to push back more and, and kind of straining the face in order to do it. But it's just a ridiculous, it's just ridiculous. Like there's no way, it's like a mountain is pushing you forward and you're trying to push back and say, no, you're not going to go anywhere. You're going to stay right there and I'm going to make sure of it. And I'm going to push you, push back on you. It's just ridiculous. It's like a ridiculous struggle. But it's all very light. It has a fairy-like energy to it. It almost is silly, okay? It's almost like a theatrical play for kids even, where uh, this one main character is sort of dressed in the silly outfit, okay? <sighs> Burgundy, that's the color. It's like a really dark maroon color, red, um, purpley even. And it seems the whole outfit is made out of this. It's tight, but there's a, kind of an odd, silly tutu-looking thing. Um, and then um, silky um, upper body shirt, but it looks kind of suit-like. And uh, the silly part in this theatrical play is this main character is uh, fighting with this mountain and telling the mountain, No, no, you don't. You don't do that. I tell you what to do. And then it's like, it's like this silly moment and everybody's sort of laughing in theater while we're watching this. And we're kind of curious to see what's going to happen next. Because this character is not going to be able to overcome this character, which is like a mountain, okay? <laughs> Virgo is uh, putting on a real show here. And what uh, appeared to be a potential struggle or fighting back against life or the flow of life is starting to kind of uh, become a cheerful moment for onlookers. <laughs> Does Virgo feel cheerful? I don't know. Is Virgo playing out a part right now? Like, uh, but is enjoying it or is it frustrated? I'm going to become a part of this uh, main character, okay? All right, here's the twist. It's a bit of a nightmare twist. They show me time. And that this play has been going on for what you could define as eternity. And it never stops. 
and Virgo can't get out of this odd time room where everybody in the theater is continuing to laugh at Virgo and is cheerful and enjoying this weird um, moment of the play. But Virgo is uh, seriously, is like in this part and it's taking this part seriously. Um, and it's going to continue to play this part over and 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 over again. It never stops. It never stops for all eternity. It's the same scene and it just, it just continues itself seamlessly though seamlessly continues itself this is really horrifying like um it's saddening it's deeply deeply saddening in the heart of virgo like very saddening it's like heavy-hearted and now virgo collective i i'm revealing this information and, and virgo collective is looking at this now with me and i feel a heaviness here And Virgo is talking to me about when do you know that it's time to give up? And Virgo tells me the reason why this is stuck in eternity is because the main character is never going to give up, ever. The thing is, is that this eternity has to change. And how it changes is the main character has to give up. Because the mountain is always going to be the mountain. And the mountain is going to continue to move like this. And it's out of your control. It's out of your hands. This is so saddening. I mean, it's almost like a funeral. Like, best friend dies unexpectedly. It's really, 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 really saddening. Like, cripplingly sad. <sighs> And so that is the end of the play where Virgo just drops dead and then the mountain wins and everybody is clapping and cheering and then these curtains now fall. I say, man, Virgo, that's heavy and harsh. <laughs> Are you sure about this? It's really heavy and harsh. Virgo and I are in a space of time which is also an eternity of time and we're not in any rush or any hurry as we are deeply thinking about this scene this play and what it means to virgo and virgo is very philosophical right now and beautiful like a creative energy um spirited uniquely creative and spirited energy and it's a very philosophical moment. It's a very deep learning moment. But Virgo is not a quitter, that's for sure. But it can acknowledge when it's been defeated. But that doesn't mean that it's not coming back to life, okay? It just needs to kind of give in a little bit, let the moment happen, but then wake up to the new day. Wake up to the next day, okay? because you're gonna come back in with refreshed energy, like a rebirth. But for right now, you need to take a look at this, Virgos, and explore what it means to you. It's okay to accept defeat sometimes, but know that when you do it and you feel it and experience it, that you are entering into the rebirth in a brand new, new day. And you're coming back with a lot of new energy. It's really positive. So, it's a message for all of you for March. I think that is the deepest message I've experienced out of all the zodiacs. Like I'm feel like like so moved. I feel like I'm I'm not even on this planet right now. I'm just kind of like whoa, you know. All right. Feel free to comment your thoughts below. <sighs> If any of you are interested in exploring a psychic session with me, please visit me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day.